Now to an exclusive story that will empower working parents to take action if they have any concerns about a babysitter. A local mom purchased nanny cameras when she started noticing changes in her two-year-old son. Suspecting their babysitter as a culprit, she hid the camera in her son's lunchbox when she dropped him off at the nanny's house. And what she recorded resulted in an arrest. But now she says she is still fighting for justice. Our Shelby Danison has this exclusive story tonight. The video may be grainy, but the audio is clear. Crying and crying and crying, and all she did was sat there next to him for like minutes after minutes after minutes. I couldn't protect my son. Man. These parents say they started noticing changes in their youngest son, Aiden. They didn't want to show their faces on camera, but are going by their first names, Ida and EJ. They say he's had a loss of appetite, lack of sleep, more frequent crying, prolonged fevers. Something happens to my son. It's their word against my son not knowing. He's two years old. So Ida took things into her own hands, buying two nanny cams like this one to keep an extra eye on her son. Watch closely. You can see this nanny turn around, pick up her son, shake him back and forth, and then set him back down. The video was enough for police to arrest their nanny, 30-year-old Shinalyn Burgess, on a charge of child abuse. He's scared, and I'm scared to leave him by himself. It's like, I was going to protect you. <laughs> They got my work, buddy. <laughs> Without that nanny camera, we would not know what was going on. If we're lucky, nothing happens. If we're unlucky, we're going to get brain damage or death. Dr. Randall Alexander is the Division Chief of Child Protection and Forensic Pediatrics in Jacksonville. Well, it probably takes two or three seconds, but in two or three seconds, you can do six, seven, eight shakes back and forth. So it's almost no time. Um, you can cause damage. We asked him what parents should look for if they have their suspicions. So let's say that we have a situation where somebody's concerned about a, a concussion. You might not eat as much, you might stare more, you might have some sort of behavior change. It might disrupt sleep patterns and feeding patterns. The symptoms sound alarmingly close to how Aiden's parents described his. Ida and EJ insist doctors did not pick up on Aiden's symptoms soon enough. They've tried bringing their concerns to the state attorney's office and DCF, but they said the agencies have let them down too. Do you feel like they did everything they could do to help you? No. Or no? The good thing about it is we caught it before he was gone. Meanwhile, their nanny is expected in court later this month. Dr. Alexander recommends finding a licensed daycare with a video system. If you go with a personal nanny, he says let them in on the fact that you want to have cameras there to check in on your kids. Now, if you do get a doctor's opinion on your child's injuries and you aren't satisfied, get a couple more opinions. In the Information Center, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News, on your side.